Did the writers and producers and director of Blue Beetle ever read a single DC Comics comic book? Let's take a look at their original trailer released three months ago. Oh, it's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. There is actually nothing anywhere in DC Comics to indicate Batman is a fascist. This was something posited on online social media discussions saying that Bruce Wayne is a fascist dictator who uses his wealth and privilege to oppress the lower class. But this is something that only exists in very narrow circles online. The comic book Batman spends his time fighting muggers in dark alleyways. His activities are secret. He does not have a reality show explaining his gear or his motives or his background. Bruce Wayne never publicized that he's Batman. This entire exchange implies that the writers of the Blue Beetle confused Batman with Iron Man, a character from a completely different franchise. At the end of the original Iron Man movie, Tony Stark reveals that he is Iron Man. I am Iron Man. This was a dramatic decision by the writers of the Iron Man movie to have this character reveal himself as Iron Man. Did the writers of the Blue Beetle confuse Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark? It really seems like they've never read any comic books at all, because what this character is saying is actually confusing the online complaint that Bruce Wayne, billionaire, inventor, and activist, is a fascist, which actually is, again, something that never occurred in any comic book. So the writers of this movie are confusing online social media complaints about a fictional character with the actual Batman in the DC Universe. Now, Blue Beetle is the first DCU character in the new universe. The director and Peter Gunn have both confirmed this. So in this universe, Batman is not a fictional character. Batman is a real person on the same planet as the Blue Beetle. Watch again what the family of the Blue Beetle says when they discover the secret lab containing Blue Beetle gear. Again, this is something they did not invent. They did, they have no idea what this technology is. They just stumble across it. Oh, it's like Batman stuff. It's like Batman stuff. Folks, Batman operates in the dark of night in secret. There is no way that civilians who have nothing to do with the superhero world would have any idea what Batman stuff looks like. Batman never came out on TV as Bruce Wayne saying, here's all my gadgets for all you kids to buy my action figures. Remember the context. In this movie, Batman is a secret fugitive from justice fighting muggers and burglars in back alleyways. There is nothing public about Batman. There is nothing about Batman that says, I'm doing all this by light of day. No, Batman is a creature of the night. Ordinary civilians not only have no idea that Batman has a bat cave, they have no idea that Batman has an array of these gadgets. And he certainly wouldn't tell the public about his gadgets because it would hamper his ability to fight crime. So what, are the, what is this kid talking about? He's speaking in terms as someone who reads Batman comic books. But that's not the same as being in the same universe as an actual man calling himself Batman who is secretly... Bruce Wayne. The other problem is they seem to be confusing an online complaint about the motives of Bruce Wayne which relatively few people have ever seen with actual canon of how the people of the DC Comics world perceives Batman. For this man to say Batman's a fascist he has absolutely nothing to base that on but these people have never heard of Bruce Wayne being Batman. He never publicized this. That's a completely different universe at Marvel Comics. The writers of this movie have no idea that Iron Man is a different character than Batman. The writers of this movie have no idea that Marvel Comics is a separate comic book company from DC Comics. There's no other explanation for what this character says or how these kids view Batman as someone they know everything about. 
There is no way you know what Batman's stuff looks like. There is no way you know what Batman's Batcave looks like. Unless you're Vicky Vale and Batman drove you to the Batcave, there is no way these kids know what a Batcave is. There is no way these kids know what Batman's gadgets are. He didn't hold a public press conference like Iron Man explaining all this. This is Batman, secretive figure of the night. Look, this is a Batcave. The general public does not know there's a Batcave. They don't know where it's located. They don't know what it looks like. They don't know anything about Batman. That's the whole point. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. These characters have no basis for saying any of this, and an editor should have caught this. The goal of the producers, writers, and director of Blue Beetle is to get you to buy a ticket. But they're saying that anyone familiar with the DC Universe, anyone who's actually picked up a Blue Beetle comic book, anyone who's picked up a Batman comic book, has no reason, no reason whatsoever, to pay for a single ticket to see Blue Beetle. That's their starting premise for getting people to go see the movie. It's stupid. If you don't even know that Bruce Wayne is a different character from Tony Stark, why are you in the business of writing superhero movies? Oh, it's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. There's no way any of these people in this movie make sense. Really empowering DC Comics, showing Latinos to be a bunch of empty-headed knuckleheads who think Batman's a fascist and that they know everything about Batman's secret Batcave.